Okay, to get us started, we're going to look at Andrea Duran on the Olympic team and Team USA. And she's going to take us through some of the things we do before we even swing the bat. So number one is a loose grip. Now take a look at Andrea's hands and she's wiggling her fingers before the pitch comes. So you can see she has a nice loose grip and her hands are right about shoulder height. Her hands aren't crazy high above her head or too low. They're right about shoulder height. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is her stance. So I'm going to draw some lines on here and you can see she has a nice athletic stance. She has a slight bend to her knees and a slight bend to her waist. Nice athletic stance. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is her stride. So she's going to load the weight on the inside of her back foot, pick up her front foot, and take a small stride towards the pitcher, and that's her stride. And if you look down here at the, at the red line I'm going to draw, she strides right in line with the pitcher. She doesn't stride out this way in the bucket, and she doesn't stride close towards home plate. She strides right in line to the pitcher. And then the last thing is swing hard. And you can get a sense of how hard she swings. I'll play that again. And she hit this ball for a home run in one of the Olympic games. So uh, again, when, when everything is in line, swing hard. Okay, now we're going to look at how an elite softball player, Andrew Duran on the Olympic team, how she handles a few of the things that we worked on in the hitting camp. And number one is hiding the hands. And this is kind of the wind-up before we unwind and hit the ball hard. So if you notice, if you look in the red circle, we can see her hands there. And if you look at her number, it's a two and a something, but we can't read the other number. So she's gonna hide her hands and do a little bit of an inward turn, and this is the wind up before she swings. So I'm gonna scroll through the swing here. You can see her hands, and then as the pitch comes, she hides her hands right at her shoulder, and now we can read her other number too, it's an eight. So let's watch that again. We can't read her number and we can see her hands and then as the pitch comes she hides her hands and does a little bit of an inward turn and that's the wind up for the swing. So here's how an elite softball player hides her hands. Okay, the second thing we're going to look at with Andrew Duran is her bat plane. And what we want to see is the bat staying on plane all the way through the swing. Now you can see that her bat right now is flat on her shoulder and that's okay. It doesn't really matter where it's at right now because she's just in her stance and she's relaxed. But what we care about is at this position right here, right as she gets ready to swing, does her bat stay on, the, on plane? And if it does, that leads to a more powerful, efficient swing. So I'm going to draw a line right through here. And you can see that the bat and the lead arm and the shoulders are all on the same plane. And as she rotates around and swings, the bat stays on that plane and she follows through on that same plane. So this is a more powerful, efficient swing if you do this. So we get the bat on plane and it stays on plane and it doesn't drop down or do anything crazy through the whole swing. So that's called keeping your bat on plane. One more important thing about bat plane, and that's how do you do it. Well, you notice that Andrew Duran is not standing straight up and down. Her spine is tilted, and then that's how she's able to maintain the tilted axis as she swings the bat. She rotates along that tilted axis. And what her lead elbow does is very important. I'm going to plot it with a green line, and you're going to see that the lead elbow rotates up. It does not rotate flat and therefore it rotates up along the same plane as the bat all right along the tilted axis and that's how you do it so make sure the lead elbow rotates up now we're going to take a look at Nikki Williams from the University of Washington she's going to help us with our, our next few items so now we're going to look at number three which is the back elbow now notice when she starts she doesn't start with her back elbow really high and her front elbow really high. If you look at some girls, some of the younger girls, they start with their elbows really high. There's really nothing good that comes out of that. She starts in more of this upside down V position, which is a more relaxed way to start your swing. So then as she begins to swing, the back elbow comes up, but the important thing is, is it, gets, it gets connected to the hip, and then the back elbow and the hip rotate at the same time all the way to impact. And then right when she hits the ball, her back elbow is bent. Now it straightens after she hits, but it is bent at impact. That's very important. We do not want a straight back elbow at impact. That means you're pushing at the ball, uh, and that, that doesn't lead to a powerful swing. 
And also the back elbow is not creeping towards her belly button or getting ahead of the hip. What happens is the back elbow and the hip rotate at about the same time. Okay, now we're gonna look at number four, which is the palm up, palm down position. And here we have Nikki Williams from Washington and Katie Cochran on the right from Arizona State. And you can see right when they impact the ball, they are palm up and palm down. Their hands are not turning over as they hit the ball. They are palm up, palm down. And another important thing to look at right at impact is look at their lead leg. It is straight. So it, it moves. You can see here, we'll, we'll show Nikki Williams on the left. It's nice and loose and flexed all the way to impact, and then right at impact it locks. And same thing with Katie Cochran. It's nice and loose and flexed, and then right at impact it locks. So here's our impact position. The lead leg is straight, the knee is firm, and we are palm up, palm down. Okay, now we're going to look at the fifth thing, which is making sure that we use our whole body. And that means using Ikey Mikey shoulders and rotating our back knee to face the pitcher. So first, let's just look at the knee. Here's Andrew Duran on the left. And let's make sure that she rotates and her back knee faces the pitcher. Sure does. So she has to come up and rotate up onto her back toes and her back knee is facing the pitcher. And then if we look at Jessica Mendoza, same way and the back knee faces the pitcher. So that makes sure that she's rotating her hips. So back knee and your belly button face the pitcher. Then we go back and look at the shoulders. And this is important, there's a couple things to look at here. So on the left here we have Duran, she's at Ike there, her chin is touching her left shoulder, and then when she rotates, her chin touches her right shoulder, Ike Mikey. And then Jessica Mendoza, same way. There her chin touches her shoulder, Ike, and then when she rotates, she rotates so much she rips the bat out of her backhand. Uh, and there she finishes at Mikey. So we're rotating the hips and the shoulders. But the big thing about the shoulder is if you watch over here, Andrea Duran, her front shoulder keeps rotating all the way until she hits the ball. You can see that. And if we go back to Jessica over here, the front shoulder keeps rotating all the way until she would have hit the ball. So the shoulders keep rotating. What we're gonna see in some of the swing analysis is that the front shoulder stops rotating and then that's when they push their back arm. Okay, and now the last thing we're gonna look at is vision. Good hitters have good vision. They see the ball, and they watch the ball all the way to their bat. So let's look at two of the best players that ever played the game. You can see Duran, she's looking right at the pitcher, and then as the ball comes in, her eyes track, and you can see right there, her eyes are now right on the ball, and then she hits the ball. So she has great vision and watches the ball all the way to her bat. On the right side, we have Mendoza. She's looking at the pitcher out, out this way right now, and you can see as the ball comes in, her eyes track that ball all the way, all the way to the bat. So good hitters have good vision, watch the ball hit the bat.